Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to my channel, Back to Riding, where I discuss what it's like to get back on a bike after 32 years away. So this is a very raw footage. I just turned on the camera and started riding, doing some of the maneuvers I uh, watch on Jerry Palladino videos. But the parking lot I measured later is nine foot parking spaces and 24 foot gap between the parking spaces down the middle. Basically, I'm just running through what I know of some of the exercises. And uh, like here, I'm doing a slow race. Um, again, this is very raw, jumped on the bike, didn't do any warm-ups, just wanted to uh, capture some stuff on film, see how I'm doing for myself, actually, but uh, like I said, I was going to share with you uh, how I'm doing, where I'm improving, where I still need work, and what it's like to get back on a bike after 32 years away, and of course, jumping on an 850-pound Harley. Again, a slow race. I'm trying to use the edge of the white lines as a straight line. Um, small parking lot, so I don't have a lot of room. Uh, enough room to do the maneuvers I should be doing. But uh, definitely need a lot of work. I, it's funny, you think you have, uh, you think you're really leaning the bike until you watch a video and you go, Ugh, I'm not leaning the bike at all. Like Jerry Palladino says, uh, Riding the bike is 90% mental and 10% physical. It's uh, like when I play golf. Uh, you could drive the ball 200 yards without a problem until you put water in front of me or sand. Uh, then it goes about 100 feet and drops right in the water. And I hate when that happens, but it does. And practice, practice, practice. Eventually you hit it over the water. So here I'm just doing some U-turns, uh, trying to do my uh, tighter turns. Again, I had no idea how wide these parking spaces were or the gap between them, um, the wide open space down the middle. Um, when I did this, I did it straight out of the box, no warm up. Just wanted to see exactly where I was on film, look at it for myself. And uh, I can get a U-turn in 24 feet, no problem. Um, the 18 footers between the two parking spots, eh, I still got to work on that. Um, as you'll see, as I'm going through some of these exercises, I do good sometimes and not so good other times. But uh, the good part of this is I'm on the bike. So there's one. Uh, one of my three things. Good. The bad is, uh, the bad is the, my riding. Uh, it's shocking to myself. Um, but I knew it. I knew I needed to start, uh, tightening up on my curves and turns and uh, handling of the bike. Um, I'm enjoying this bike immensely. Um, I just want to get much better at it. Uh, if you'll notice, some of my turns are really tight and some are not too tight. And really tight is not really tight. But I'm getting there. So again, 9 foot parking spaces, 24 foot gap. Um, going to try my slow race, keep trying that here and there. This one's a little bit better. Again, I don't have a lot of room. This is a community parking lot right next to me. So I think I, uh, I think I scare some of the neighbors in my neighborhood when I hear the bike roaring up and down the street. But uh, got to get my practice in. Again, the good, I get on the bike. The bad, I realize just how bad I'm doing. And the ugly's coming. At the end of this video, you're going to see the ugly. And uh, I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. But for the most part, I'm on the bike, enjoying the day, trying to uh, practice, practice, practice like they tell me I should. Uh, all the good guys on the uh, YouTube videos, like Jerry Paladino, R Ryan Erlocker, Dan Dan the Fireman, all good videos, all good to watch, all helping me get into this. Um, here we have a little bit of a weave as if the cones were like nine feet apart. Again, I didn't know, I had an idea about what the distances were, but I had no idea what they actually were until I actually finished and measured them myself. And I did actually pull out a ruler and figure out exactly what they are so I know where I'm at. 
and that was better than 24 feet not too bad but uh, as much as I think I'm doing good this video proves I'm not doing so good I still got a long way to go in order to get uh, master the bike and feel really comfortable with it the way I want to feel with it I know when I'm on the road and I'm making a left turn or a right turn, I know I know for sure I'm leaning deeper than I'm learning in these uh, leaning in these uh, practice runs right now. But uh, I know the camera's on. I'm fearful of dropping the bike on camera because I'd have to show you that because that's what I'm trying to do here: show you every, everything I'm going through uh, from soup to nuts. I'm trying to do an offset pattern here. Um, Again, if I probably put cones out, it would have had a better idea of where exactly I was. I was just really winging these practices, uh, these practice runs. Here's going to be a uh, left turn from a dead stop. Eh, not too bad. Could have been better. Let's see what else we got. Here's a U-turn from a dead stop. Definitely not tight enough. But I've said that from the very beginning. My U-turns from a dead stop need a lot of help. Another one. U-turn from a dead stop. A little better. But again, a raw. I'm just jumping out here and doing them. And here, of course, is the ugly. Almost dropped the bike. So still got a long way to go. So again, I'm looking for your input, your good critiques, your bad critiques, whatever you got to add. Please share it with me. Uh, like and subscribe and follow my journey as I get back to riding. Thank you.